All right, Bandmade New York. I do apologize for being so delayed with these videos. Next concerts in the future, I'm definitely going to be more on top of it. This was a first time experience for me following a band entirely through the tour. And I learned a lot. I learned a lot for sure on how to do this <laughs> a better way, just so I can get things up faster. Please subscribe to the channel. This is what I like to do. I like put up these fan clips and talk about the experience that I experienced <laughs> while being there. Uh, forgive me guys, I'm a little under the weather. I found out that my wife and I had, um, you know, that wonderful illness that's going around. Luckily mine isn't as bad as hers. I just have these weird symptoms where my eyes are like really puffy and um, I feel tired all the time. Some people say lack of sleep, but I felt like it was more than usual, not just lack of sleep. But with, all, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this. I love it because the kind of is taking some deep breaths right there right before they start. That's a good thing to do before you start playing a show. You know, just you just relax because sometimes musicians tense up pretty hardcore when you're about to go live on stage. And but yeah, just taking deep breaths and relaxing is really important when you're trying to play live. <laughs> I love it because you see right there how Miku is tapping to the rhythm, make sure she's on time. I really recommend guitarists to do that in general, just to do, um, make sure that they're in it, right, with the music. She has came such a long way. She sounds so good. It's just one of those proud moments of how well she can play now and play and sing at the same time. You'll see right now as she's playing, she's very conscious about what's going on. She's looking around, make sure everything's good, and is very aware of what's happening around her. I never realized that lick was like that. I love I love how she does those active slides like that. So cool. Now, Psyche, something about her when she's on stage is just, I don't even know how to explain it. It's, it's, it's just majestic. <laughs> she's just so majestic on stage. Even like the slight hand movements doing that, where it's just, it feels powerful, if that makes sense. Does that make any sense? I don't know.
lady that's behind Konami, she's doing some manipulation with Konami's pedal board because I saw her with her own like little setup where she was tapping on it for different delays and stuff like that. So there's a tap delay that people will use. And I think she's doing the tapping part for Konami and then somehow sending it to that pedal where she can just, bam, I got that delay that synced up with that song. <laughs> I love how Misa's just going all over the place the entire time. <laughs> I mean, I already know this, but like, just seeing it over and over again. Just to elaborate just a little bit more, I thought I would cut in real quick. All these notes are in the same spot on the fretboard, but she chooses these notes that are like higher on the fretboard at like the fret 12. They're still the same as you would play them up there, but there's different sounds and different resonance of the note. And she's so good at knowing which ones to play. Because most bassists will just play all at the top. She could easily play the entire riff at the top of the fretboard, but she chooses to select different notes on the entire fretboard to give the song more character and have like this more lead tone in the bass that sounds awesome. And it never gets old. <laughs> Appreciate y'all watching so much. You guys can check out another Bandmate clip right here of more of the concert footage. See you!